Okay, let's start with the workbench. And first of all, your workbench must be even. And we need a minimum area to build. 80 cm wide and 120 cm long. Now to protect the tabletop, we need a wooden board. A plywood panel is completely sufficient. It must be 60 cm wide and 120 cm long. The plywood panel must be 8mm thick and will be tacking around the table, so it doesn't move anymore. We need now a measuring stick, a steel ruler with an inch and centimeter scale, a ruler, a metal hammer, a marker, grains, a mark corner and a calculator. For the electrical work, we need a soldering station with adjustable temperature peak, soldering tools, desoldering pump, solder, a helping third hand and shrinking tubes. For the construction of the aircraft parts we need a meter saw, because we have to cut many aluminium and steel tubes. The meter saw must have an adjustable angle function. To cut off pipes at different angles, we also need two different saw blades, one for wood and aluminium and one to cut steel. To cut or edit these different aircraft parts, we need a few more clamps, so that nothing moves during the construction. In order to get radii and curves in the tubes, we need a few files, a pair for aluminium and steel and a few for wood. Later we will attach a short metal shield for the fuselage. That's why we need a riveting tool with a section of different blind drives. For fine work as an example on the instrumental pedal, we also still need the angle grinder. In order to work on wood later, we need a set of chisels. And to cut the wood part straight, we still need a meter saw for wood. And for cutting small pipes, we need a metal pocket saw as well. For work on the engine and the panel later, we need a set of Allen screwdriver. And a stapler with a few staples. To attach the engine to the fuselage and many more work, we need a bunch of different screwdrivers and an imbus wrench set. 5 kg of fine sand to bend the pipes and a heat gun to covering the wings later. We also need some gloves, duct tape, methylated spirit, oil, a hot glue gun and hot glue magazines. Ok now comes a big good table drill that we need to drill holes. The machine must be precise and the controllable speed function for the drills. A machine with integrated light is the best. For the table drilling machine we still need HSS high cut steel drills for aluminium and steel. A few good wood drills a bunch of screw drills and a few continental countersink. But that's not all. We also need one vise, some HSS hole saw drill for aluminium and steel and some hole saw drills for wood. The last big machine that we need is a hydraulic bending machine to bend steel pipes for the fuselage and the wing. The hydraulic bending machine must apply a minimum of 6 tons of force to be able to bend tubes up to 30 mm. For the last tip get a box with two separated compartments. In the one compartment you can put airplane instruments and other odds in it and in the other one you can put tool rests and useful things inside. Ok we now have all tools together and our workbench is now ready. We can now begin with the construction of the first aircraft craft parts. 